Oh, this is, this is nice. No expense has been spared on the set, obviously. Uh, welcome. I'm gonna make this adult size if I can. There we go. Nice room. Okay. Good news, good news. The birth rates in the UK are decreasing. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, I'm married, but Jesus, children, my husband is more than enough work. He's 18 years younger than me. Oh, and he's got a lot of growing to do before he turns 21. So, no. <laughs> he's Brazilian and I'm in pain. And, um, he's... <laughs> he fucks like a train and he, um... He always comes on time, you know, fuck a girl, no you need. I didn't tell you, he's black. Namaste. I know. He's black? I didn't know, I met him in a club. And, um... <laughs> too late. Anyway, he's, uh... He already fingered me. Anyway, so yes, he's... Right? And, uh... He's very black, too. Mm-hmm. I know. I feel like I can go that urban speak because I got a bit of black in me. He's, um... <laughs> he's, uh, shiny. He's, um... He's purple. And he's got, uh, green eyes. And for Christmas, he dyed his hair red. I know! It's like eating buttfuck by a bag of Skittles. And that... That is good eating. Anyway, he's, um... He's a bit rough in bed, a bit rough. Not Cosby rough, but uh, I know, I know. I'm disappointed too, but um, but, he, but he puts up a good fight. Although, it wouldn't matter to me if he's bad in bed because he makes me look good in bed because black is so slimming, but he is. He's here tonight, but you can't really see him. And I didn't know. Uh, honey, honey, smile. I didn't know the truth about marriage, because heterosexuals seem so enthusiastic about marriage, right? Are you two married? Yes, married? No? Get married. Ask her now, motherfucker. And, um... No pressure, but, uh... No, I understand your nervousness because your closet, and also because... Right, you, uh... You look familiar, and, uh... <laughs> Just the top of your head, really. But you, uh... I meant the back, but you do. You look, um... You get hit on by gay men all the time, don't you? Do you? You do, don't you? You do. Tell me, tell me the whole story. Don't leave word out. <laughs> Let me get a line of coke. Hold on. And, uh... Start at the beginning. So what happened? Someone, someone bought you a beer. You're like, oh, this tastes funny. Mm. You woke up the next day and thought, God, that beer made my ass hurt. That's because it's Catholic beer. Anyway, it is, it is. <laughs> it is odd marriage. Look what it does to you, right? I didn't know, um, I didn't know the marriage meant I would never have a moment to myself ever again. I woke up with my husband staring down at me this morning. I'm like, what the fuck? Kapuro, I'll be with you till the end. That sounded like a threat. So, people do ask us, women do ask us, they're very supportive. Oh, you're married. Oh, you're as miserable as me. Yay. We are. We stay at home on a Friday, chicken or fish, chicken or fish. We're like you. Get all the gays off the streets. But we're not going to have kids. Fuck that. That is too many rights. Because people ask us, you going to have kids? No, we're not going to have kids. We want nice stuff. We're going to keep that sofa white, white, white. And, uh,. Not all gay men are pedophiles, by the way. Only about 80, 85 percent. No, I could never... I could never be a pedophile. I hate children. They're, uh... They're so Moorish, you know, they... No, you're filthy. No, I mean, they always want to know where they are. Like, where are we now? Where are we now? You're in the boot. Although... <laughs> Welcome to the BBC. Although... Ha <laughs> ha!
I mean, say what you will about pedophiles, at least they drive slowly around schools, so that's good, right? <laughs> My husband and I don't have much in common. And maybe that's a good thing, right? Because he's a big sports fan. You're into sports. You're a sport guy. You're sporty. You seem sporty. What's your favorite sport? Yeah. <laughs> the gay international sign for sport, in case you're wondering. <laughs> What's your favorite? What do you do? Do you play football or soccer? Or do the squats? What do you do? Football. Do, what's your position? <laughs> what is it? Center back? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to send her back, she can stay, but I'm still going to come on your back. It is, uh, it, 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 that's my position. <laughs> he is going to kick my ass after this show. If I'm lucky. No, it is, uh, No, sports are great, but the Olympics bother me. My husband, being Brazilian, is obsessed. He loves all that. I find the Olympics too predictable. You know, Americans always do well in shooting, as you'd expect. And, uh, <laughs> and the Russians are fast. And also, my favorite athlete doesn't compete, so I don't find it inspiring. I mean, I love Oscar Pistorius, right? Oscar Pistorius, no? Oh, I know, with the over the toilet door. I know, but we've all been there. And, uh, <laughs> and she learned her lesson. Anyway, now he's... Right? <laughs> anymore now. <laughs> He's in prison worried about getting raped. I guess he could hide in the toilet. The thing is... No, I tried to write Oscar Pistorius jokes, but I was stumped. I do... Uh, I do uh, <laughs> well, too much stuff. Anyway... So I take my husband, we, we, we're here this weekend, right? It's, it's an anniversary for us. We've been married twice because I love the taste of cake. And um, <laughs> we travel a lot together. I don't know how long this is going to last because those bitches won't shut the fuck up. But also, <laughs> but also, you know, we travel up. I don't know because I'm here on an Italian passport. So I've been asked to leave. I get the fucking hint. My husband's at home packing the Gucci as I speak. But my family's also asked me to take the Italian recipes with me, so good luck with those canned baked beans and stale toast, you pale, flabby cunts. <laughs> Theresa may or may not, she, uh, she wants a hard Brexit, but considering the age of her cabinet, I think a semi is the most she can fucking hope for. <laughs> her face gives me a soft, but I think... Where are we gonna move, right? We can't go to Brazil, that's a thriving comedy scene. I mean, we could move to America, but I don't think so. I, I mean, Trump terror fucking terrifies me, right? I can't, I can't explain this about Donald Trump, that's his brains leaking out of his head, obviously, because he thinks all Mexicans are rapists, you know, in a perfect world. And then, <laughs> he wants to build a wall, which is asinine, because Mexicans can build doors, and, um, and use keys, and they're really good with ladders. I think, <laughs> You know, three to a truck. I think. I think what he wants to do is expel everyone from America who's not white, which is so weird because Trump is orange. And uh, now that he won, I guess orange is the new black because. Because um, uh, the Obama family had to leave. I miss them already. How long is Trump been in office? About a hundred thousand years, it feels like. And. He's trying to get rid of Obamacare, and that's where Obama comes to your home and looks after you, but that didn't work. <laughs> I voted for Obama twice. I'd vote for Obama if you're in again. He probably will, because in America, black guys are always running from somebody for good reason, right? <laughs> Don't worry, I can't fire a gun. I'm from California. I can fire a maid, but I can't fire a gun. I can't kill people. I'm American, but I don't hear voices. That's the thing. These killers always hear voices, like, kill, kill, kill. Why can't the voices be nice? Like, go dancing. 